Today we're gonna talk about beam. Yeah, here we go. Today we're talking about beam. Uh, we're gonna talk today about jumps, backward hook overs, back handspring. Um, we're gonna talk about jumps from uh, a, a different perspective, not different perspective. We all know techniques about wolf, split, season, but we must know that it's not just flexibility. It has to be power flexibility. You have to have a strong muscle to be able to lift your legs tight. You can be flexible, but you cannot open 180. You can be flexible, but you cannot be 180 because your muscles are weak. So today, second, here we go. Here we go. Slide show. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Just a second. Here we go. That's the beam. We're gonna talk about jumps, backward look overs, back handspring, split jump. You can see from the picture, it has to be 180. Uh, jumps and switch leaps. It has to be flexibility, strength, and that's eventually to be splits and jump. That's a flexibility drill, active flexibility drill. I like this drill because it makes this gymnast, it puts the gymnast in a position that she cannot turn her hips or can be crooked or skew. It has to be straight and here we go. Yeah. That's the way of the look, look at the legs, tight, straight. You cannot be crooked. You have to be straight all the time to be able to do this. That's a right leg and left leg. Okay, and that's good for beginners to start with. Okay, because they will be not so strong. And you can be with, during this exercise to fix, lock your knees, point your toes, hollow the shape. Okay, after that, as I said before, everything with movement, you have to start as a static, then you start to make it move. We're gonna do the same, but with kicks. Now you start to do kicks. As I said, that's a new way of thinking of it. You can do always stand and start to kick, but it will be not, the position will be not good in the beginning but you can control the body shape or the body position by doing this drill. Okay, as you see now, start to put the whole hand on the beam, not bent arms. You start now to put the hands on the beam and you start to do the kicks. Yes, I agree. Uh, here, I'm telling you that we should start from here because we do a lot of standing. If we hold it in a static position, hold kara ke kara enge, to jo hip turn ho jati hai so hips ko hum yahan control kar sakte hain aur body shape easily maintain kar sakte hain uh, yes shadi okay now you have to make those legs strong that's i like this position too much or this drill too much because it puts the gymnast in a good position to do the elements and it's very good for future for leaps switch leaps the jumps and it's so simple we all can do it it's most important thing about beam is shape, how it look like. You have to emphasize or look. You see the, 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 the hand, the fingers, the shoulders backward, head is up, not like this. It's up, position, stick your chest out, okay? Straight legs, always toes looking forward on the, on the floor, not sideward or outward, okay? And you start as a one-legged squat, okay? You start as a one-legged squad, then you start to go, oh, sorry. Okay, you start like this, hold, not movement in the, in the beginning. You do it as hold, then you start to do it as, you start to move it a little bit, small range of motion. Not big range of motion, just small range of motion. And you can see, it's so difficult. You think it's too easy? Trust me, it's not, it's really difficult. Then lounge, like you see 90 degree on the knee. Yeah, 90 degree on the knee and a straight, straight leg. Very important to take care of the simple parts, the arms, how it looked like, okay? Not like this, no, fix the arms, 
straight the elbow, lock your elbow. You have to be straight, not, not like this. Wait a second. Not like this. The arm has to be straight, straight. Okay, and nice, nice fingers. Okay? Yes, Shady. Now, we'll take it to the next level, the next drill. Now you start to do like um, lounge, you're like, yeah, bent up. Bent and up, lounges. The whole lounges. And you have to, you have to tell the girls the shoulder to be balanced. Not one up, not one down. It has to be balanced, straight. Let's see this one more time, please. Shoulder is balanced. You see, nothing, no more up or down. The shoulder is up. Don't let her go like this or like this. Okay? As I said, that's not easy. <laughs> okay, now we'll start to prepare to jump to do the split. This drills for quads and back hamstring. Now you jump. If you look at here slowly, it's almost like split jump, look. It's almost like split jump. When the girl jump. Okay. You see, that's almost like split jump. Okay, not the perfect one for sure, but that's, we're talking about beginners, okay? So that's to give them strength on the quads, on the backhands and the whole leg, to jump off the floor to open, okay? So here they have three positions. First, static, normal, after that, small lunges, after that, we will take it to 90 degrees, and we will jump from so you almost split ke equivalent a jayegi yahan pe aur ye beginners ke liye bahut acha hai yes shadi okay you see that's also good so basically we do split jump with one leg basically okay now we go to the beam this is as a strength to make the leg muscle strong to be able to lift now we'll go to active flexibility again with the strength, this is the mixture, explosive power, by doing this. Kicks forward, kicks backward, then jump. Kicks forward, kicks backward, then jump. Okay, that's why we prepare first before we go to this step. Because if you do the same without preparation, you'll, you'll see the gymnast going like wobbly you know, not tight like this. And you can always start with holding the one hand on the beam to make sure that the gymnast body is stable, not moving like, ooh, okay? If we start it directly here, then our body will be very much more in our body and we will perform it properly. Yes, Shady. Good, okay. Uh, this, the next step, after this, after the girl do this like tons, that's have to be part of the practice the kicks and the jumps it have to be part of the warm-up special preparation specific preparation that's have to be part of our daily routine this this uh, progress takes a long time if you make it if you rush it if you want to make it so fast <clears throat> sorry you'll get injuries the hamstrings pulling injuries the knees injuries this stuff need to take a long time and give it a time don't rush there is million exercise with elastic bands and kicks and the war racks, millions. But as I said, I'm trying to look at it from different way. I can get you the old things, but you all know it. You all saw it. I like to see or to present different ideas. Okay? Yes, Shadi. Perfect. Now, for me, this is very good drill. I use it till now and I think it's one of the best drills. You get a mat like this, and you let the gymnast jump. You arms like this, you start to prepare. Jump, use a strong leg muscle power. To show split 180 and to land. In the beginning, that should be a little bit softy mat, okay? That's for a little bit advanced, but you can start with a soft one. But that's give the gymnast idea of 
how much she, she should open. Okay, in, in, in the beginning, they might don't understand 180 or open all the way. So you will find them do something funny, okay, for, for opening. But when you give them a mat or a, a way, like I should open more, if she hit by herself, now she know that she didn't open the back leg, the front leg. So basically that's like self-learning split, okay? ये स्प्लिट के लिए जो बॉक्स सिटिंग दिखाया था ये थोड़ा एडवांस लेवल पे था जब हम बिगनर्स के साथ इसको करेंगे तो सो हमें थोड़ा सॉफ्ट मैट यूज करना है इसके लिए उसके बाद यहां पे लेके आना है यस शादी ओके नाउ वी टेक इट टू द लो बीम आफ्टर दैट दिस इज अ लिटिल बिट हाई बट आई लाइक इट लो नाउ वी डू डू द सेम राइट किक लेफ्ट किक स्प्लिट लेट्स सी दिस वन मोर टाइम Right, left, split. That's give the idea of the gymnast when she kick forward and backward, like the range of motion, or I prepare the body or the muscles. So what's gonna happen next? Okay. Yes, same. वो ही exercise है जो हमने छोटे beam पे की थी. One leg kick forward, one leg kick backward, and then jump. <clears throat> okay. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Now basically that's it. A little bit of more repetition. Then you'll have a beautiful one. Okay. After the split, the zone for me it's almost the same. It's just about land in one leg. So basically, you're gonna do the same drills. The wolf is the same. You just have to bend one knee. So basically, you have to learn split jump before any other uh, jump. That's like the mother of jumps. You have to start with the base, the mother. That's like number one. Then if you can split like this. If you're like a little bit like this, that's a seesaw zone and land in one leg for sure. If you can jump split, but bent one leg and the other one is straight, that's a wolf. So basically, that's it. You have to master this element. And what's coming after this, it's quite easy. It's more like theoretical jump. Like you have, to, you can coach it by, you know, direction. Okay. Yeah. इसमें ये बता रहे हैं कि जो ये स्प्लिट है ये मदर ऑफ ऑल जंप्स इसको अगर हम सही डायरेक्शन में बच्चे को सिखा देंगे इसके बाद इसमें से काफी एलिमेंट्स आप कर सकते हो लेग्स बेंड किया तो गोल को आ गया और इसमें हम प्रोग्रेशन ला सकते हैं बट बेसिक हमें ये स्प्लिट पहले बच्चे को सिखानी चाहिए you can all the routines from all over the world you have to see as uh, at least one switch leap you cannot find any well you can but that's like 99.9999 percent all routines have switch leap all routines you can do switch leap full turn switch leap half turn a lot but you must you will see a switch leap for sure so switch leap also is very important well first you do leap but yeah, switch leave is, I found those drills very interesting, very easy to perform, and really helps a lot. Out of box, you let the gymnast jump. This is to let the gymnast jump, use the legs to jump, the takeoff legs to jump, and give them more space to open all the way. Because it's a common mistake if you start from the floor or even of the springboard, the gymnast is not jumping up or doesn't have enough time to open all the way. So this is really good idea to let the gymnast push, have enough space to do the switch, then to land. Okay. पहले हमें box के ऊपर से jump करके सिखाने चाहिए क्योंकि jump की height और हमारे height मिलके हमारी height sufficient हो जाएगी leg switch के लिए और बच्चे को अच्छा idea मिल जाएगा leg switch करने के लिए. Yes, sir. Okay. After that. That's also a really good one of the mat. Most of the jumps you see this mat or the, the squishy one switch on a mat to give them the, uh, the idea of the distance that they should jump to open. And after that, that's for swinging back leg drill. You can do this, you know, in all our beams. It's, we all have those beams. So we, all we have to do just let the gymnast swing that's for because usually, usually what you see in the, what usually in switch, you see the front leg kick, but the back leg doesn't swing all the way backward, you know? 
So it's basically like this and stop. So because the back leg is not swinging all the way backward. So by doing this drill helps the swing back leg a lot. The mat for, for sure, but this one, especially for swinging the back leg on the switch lead. Okay, also elastic band, very good idea. Using the beam, holding it like this, you're gonna do swings. This is also always uh, specifically for the back leg, for the back leg kick. Okay, after that, you can upgrade the switch lead by, you can do this for switch lead, take a step, Jump, just to do the switch leap without the half, just the switch. The same, push, just normal switch leap. This is for sure when you upgrade to half, good, very good idea, but you can use it for switch leap. Take step, switch leap, take step, switch leap. Okay, you can, after this, you can use springboard, to jump off a springboard, good idea. But first, I like this, I found it very efficient, very helpful to give the gymnast idea or enough time to swing. Okay? Yes, Shadi. <clears throat> Backward hook over. Backward hook over is basic of the basic of all backward elements. Back handspring, step out, lay out, lay out, back tuck, everything. It's all start from backward hook over. So you have to take care of teaching the backward hook over correct. Okay? This is the position you have to have the gymnast before you even think of teaching backward hook over. As you see, you can use the wall, okay? You don't have to spot or push. I don't like pushing because I see coaches put their hands here and push, okay? Without the, without the wall for sure. Like, you know, they try to open the shoulder angle by pushing too much. I don't like this because wrong push, wrong hand replacement, injuries bad injuries so i like to sit like this and let, let the gravity work okay the static position pehle prepare karni hai aur wall ke sath jyada preference hai isse angle ho raha hai aur shoulder ki preparation ho rahi hai to jo hum log kai bar without wall bridge bana ke usko push karte hain to us push ke direction mein kai bar shoulder injury ho jati hai wrong hand placement rehta hai so usme injury ke jyada chances hai so hame is tarike se iski position prepare karni chahiye Yes, Shadi. Okay, you see this is the position that you want to see. Open shoulders, open flat, hips. That's also another way of it. This is too much for the back, but <clears throat> you know the idea now. Okay. Yes, Shadi. Now we start, as I said, static. Now we'll start to move it. Walking bridge. This is very important drill for let the shoulders push off the floor. Okay, and give them indication of movement. We're gonna move very safe for the girls and helps to open the shoulder. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> positive flexibility. Okay, that's also positive flexibility. Okay, no pushing. Okay. This so, drill is that the bridge is that you can push your hand on the beam or push your hand on So, this is basic bridge walking. Se kar sakte hai. Yes, okay. Sir. Now, after you bridge up, now you just kick to back or look over. Just do bridge. And you see now much better. Now you lift the leg, then choop, kick. One more time. Bridge up, open shoulders, kick one leg. It, it, sometimes look, sometimes look at this girl in the back. Please pay attention to this girl in the back. The black leotard, this one. It can be like this. It, in the beginning, it will be like this. Don't look at this. Let's one more time, one more time. Look at the black leotard on the back. Here, this one, this one, this one. Yes, sir. In the beginning, you will see girl is doing like this. This is normal. Okay, some girls are like this. Our job as coaches to fix it. To go, hold the legs. No, you tell them, keep this thing straight, keep you point your toes. Eventually, in the end, you want to see it like this one. Eventually, you want to see it like this one. Okay? Perfect. Now, introducing to the low beam. Now we start on the floor. Now we're gonna take the next level into the beam. 
you start bridge like this on the beam, then you let the gymnast tell the gymnast to put the feet on the on the beam, like this, to let them understand the hand replacement on the beam. Okay, after that, then you kick into the mat. Push. So Shadi, shoulder angle is most important in walkovers. 100%. That has to be open all the time. Straight. All the time. This is have to be, look like a stick. This yeah. angle straight. From here, from hips to hand. Hand to hips. This is one straight line here. Yeah. Okay? Shady. I agree. Okay. Now, sometimes coaches get... Uh, Harry, do you want to make it fast? To go down. This is quite dangerous because I see before elbow, bone, like this. Because rushing, you have to take it slow. This is very good drill for going down with the hands. Going down with the hands for bridges. Use the wall, put your hands slowly, slowly. To let them go down to floor. If you see the old, the previous drills, they start from, from laying down. Now you start to teach him to go down. Yes, tell me. So, Shadi, uh, which is the hand placement is best for these elements? The hand position? Yes, on the beam. Yeah, we have, I, I prepare a drills, okay. a methodology about the hand replacement because I know this is most important part. Okay. So, so in the I like you can tell. It's okay. Yeah, I, I will explain it exactly in the end. I have like 10 slides talking about just hand replacement. Okay, okay. Shari. Just hand replacement. So we will go and after we'll finish, trust me, everything will be clear about hand replacement because I know I've been to many seminars about the hand replacement. And yeah, and I'll explain it. But yeah, I, I, I prepare this, okay? Yes, sir. The person okay. or the woman who asked that will talk about this clearly, okay? Perfect. Okay. Okay, after we start to go down by the wall, I like to start with open legs like this. So center of gravity is closer and you have bigger uh, um, base because that would be easier now to go down. Kick. Okay, open legs like this. Now you go down slowly. You can start first couple of ones by light spot then the girly kick. After this, look at the legs now, look at the legs. Legs, feet together, feet together. Not open as the previous one. Together, then kick. Okay, feet together. Then, kick. If the gymnast can perform it like this, you're like 60, 70%, almost done by the element. Okay? ओके शैदी शैदी यहाँ बताना चाह रहे हैं कि जब हम इसको बच्चे को स्टार्ट करा रहे हैं बैक ओवर कोर तो हमें लेग्स ओपन के साथ कराना चाहिए क्योंकि आपका लेग्स ओपन करने से सेंटर ऑफ मास क्लोजर टू द ग्राउंड जाएगा और वो आपके रेस्ट एल्बो इन सब चीजों को प्रिवेंट करेगा यस शैदी नाउ वील गो लाइक दिस because you sometimes move in the beginning, you see like this and a kick, bend, then kick, bend, then straight. By doing this drill, you make the gymnast understand the kick with the straight legs. Wait, let me stop it. This is weights, okay? And it's a box. And that's let the gymnast to lead with locked knees, not bend, then kick, okay? So basically that's for kicking up the legs with a straight leg, to kick like this. Not to bend, then kick. Okay? After that, you start like this, the gymnast start like this. You see the shoulders open all the time. Head neutral, not head down, not head, head neutral, normal. Like normal, just open the shoulders and head neutral. I don't like this. That's not good. Head neutral, shoulder is down, okay? Positions may shoulder or head up natural position may range. 
you make it halfway and you concentrate or focus with the gymnast, lock knees, straight legs. You have to keep repeating this. That's quite boring. But for those elements, if you if the give of the girl learn it how to do the straight legs and you get bored, keep saying straight legs, point your toes, later on you will not suffer with backward element. It will come just like this. The backward walk over, the back handspring, the step out layout, because it will be already saved in the head. You don't have to reteach it again. Okay, now you see floor beam. Previous was the floor, hand like this. Now you start to make the hands closer. Okay, the best way to give them indication in a very safe environment, like this. Let me check, here it is. Yeah, you see? Some of the gym that's like beam cover, if you have floor beam, like spongy one, anything to let the gymnasts understand now, they have to put their hands closer, not very wide, okay? Yes, Eddie. Now finalizing the backward loop over. You start like this with weights. Make sure that it takes tight, tight. You see, see, tight, tight, tight. Push down, up. Up, you see the shoulder angle straight from hands to hips, straight. And when she's in the handstand position, hands to hips is straight. This is all so straight, straight. No angle. And you, you know why they're putting the black wrist here? To make sure that the ears next to the hand. Okay. ये जो black strap इन्होंने बांध के रखा है ये इसीलिए बांधा है कि उसको idea रहे कि उसके हाथ उसके कान के साथ touch है। Yeah, so no head out, no head in. All the time, cover your ears. That's why they put the hands like this. Watch. Thank you, Shadi. Nice trick. Covered all the time. In all times, you have to have a sponge or something to cover like this. But that's not because sometimes when you want to squeeze it. You close your shoulder angle, you know? When you put the rest, more efficient because it needs, you don't have to be like this, you know? You can be like this without have to worry about falling out. Okay? Yes, Shadi. Okay. Let's take it here. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, After this, you can go it with the floor the low beam. And obviously, you, the starting legs have to be a little bit up. Don't start with one, the front leg is down. Because that's technically not correct. Okay? Let me check one more time. Here. When you start, this has to be high. Well, you can start first like this. You don't have to start that much wide, but eventually you want to start with the front leg is high. The low is not good. Sometimes I see girls start from both legs down, then they do bridge, then kick. That's not good. Eventually you want to start with the front leg is high like this. When we start the child, we have to keep the legs a little higher, so it will be easy to do it. Yes, Shadi. Uh, yes, um, you can start teach backward look over to boys. You may. It's actually a good idea. For back handspring, uh, you see there is a common mistake. I see on the competitions or in the meets, it's not fast backward look over. Back handspring have to have a height, have to have a jump. That's why I brought these pictures. You see that's high straight legs and you see the height. She flew over and she's not even putting her hands in the beam yet. So it have to, it have to be high, okay? First, backhand, backhand spring preparation. It's some of the drills. It also works for the backward look over. They are from the same family. So yeah, like for instance, this one, we did something similar. This is for stepping out the back handspring. Okay. 
This is really, really good drill for arm swing and prepare for back handspring. Hollow, shape, push, and you look, she snap and flat hips. Your hips should be flat all the time. Must, not should, must be flat all the time. In this drill, push, arch like this. They have to be tight and tight arch, okay? Now, flying backward to lay down. Jump over a mat. In the beginning, you just need the girl to jump, just jump. Okay, now we'll see the difference now between the first jump and the second jump. First, you need the girl to jump up first. Look, the mat here on the back handspring on the first one as a, as a first part of the drill. The second part of the drill, when you jump, Second part of the drill, you see the mat almost on the calf. The mat is almost at the calf. The first drill, the mat was here. The second drill, the mat is here. Now you wanna make it move backward. So it's two things, jump up and jump back. It's not just jump back or just jump up. It's, it's mixture between up and back. It have to be both, jump up and back. This moment, we have jump back or up, dono karna hai, back handspring ke liye. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, after you, 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 the girl understand that she's jumping up and back, you start to step out. Jump, step out, jump to step out. Okay. Look. Very important. After she jump and step out, you jump off the trampoline and she's mad with a spotter. Here, I like the coach to put the hands here in the beginning to spot a couple of ones. Okay. And of course, we teach this element after we teach back hands on the floor. Okay. Uh, Watch this one more time. I would like I would like you to watch the hand and watch the head. Watch the head. We make the doing this. Well, let's do the let's do it slow. Okay. I like to do like this. Now she put the hands. Look at the head. Look at the head. Look at the head. Now stop sharing for one second. Yeah, here we go. You see all the heads going like this. This is the new way of watching the beam. Don't lose contact with the beam because when you put the hands and the head is in, you watch actually your feet going one, two. So after you watch the both feet coming in, you can now go up, jump, prepare to do other things. Another back handspring, back tuck, step out, lay out. And if you watch carefully the new techniques on all over the world, you will see all, all the gymnasts, the high level gymnasts, they stick their head in. They all watch the feet coming down, one, two. So, you know, you will have a vision. You don't go, you don't want to go blind. Well, you see the first leg, then you start to hit it like this. So you, you lost vision. You don't see now the beam anymore. So you pray that you're on the right line, you know? So instead of this, your head should be in. Watch the first leg, the second leg, then you go up. Okay, I'll, I will play it again to look at this because this is very important. And you have to pay attention to try to make the, your gymnast doing this. Yes, Chadi. Here we are going to tell you that we have to see this moment. We have to see the beam. If we see the beam, we will see our first leg, second leg. Then we will easily connect the other one. And it will be very easy for us. If we head out, we will not see the beam position. We will not see the beam position. So we have to see the head in. First leg, then second leg. Yes, Chadi. Yes. Go on. 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 Two, then up, then go. Well, when you do this, the series, it will be faster than this. It will be 100% faster. But in the beginning, you start like this to let them understand that they have a vision. When they master or they feel comfortable doing this million times or 1,000 times, then 
the, the theory will come normal. You don't have to teach it. Then the mastery is there and um, we will use to that moment. Okay. Yeah, sure. So this is the next step after the cheesy method, the trampoline to push off the floor. You see the head? To always focus the land on the straight line. There she opens. Look, hit in, watch, one, two. You want the gymnast to have the indication of where she's putting the feet, not just bring it down and pray that you do it correct. Okay? This yes. is the setup on the low beam and mat. You can here put mats, panel mats, and low beam. Okay? That's the setup. In the beginning, the mat's a little bit higher than the beam. Then you start to lower it down, okay? You want the gymnast to be feel comfortable that she's jumping backward. And you see the head? Yeah, one more time, one more time. Look at the head. The hand and the head, both. Hand and the head, both. Look at the hand and the head. She have a vision of where she's putting the feet. Okay, then after this, after you go in the previous drill and you start to lower down the mats, you take it here. Floor beam, no mats. See, she's always looked down, watch the beam. After you watch the beam, for sure, up and arms nicely, but first, always have a vision. That's a closer view of the hand, hand, well, a little bit of bent elbows, hand should be a little bit straight, but yeah, we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna speak a lot about the hands, and look, look at the head, look at the head, she has the vision all the time, where she's putting the feet, okay, yeah. now, after, after you do gazillions, um, 100,000 doing this, now, you, the girl is more comfortable, she can go in the low beam with a spot over the mat first, light spot to make sure that everything's gonna be okay. Then later she can go by herself like this. Now, when you see the beam, uh, I will play this again, please. Watch please again. You see the head? She always have a vision. She always seeing the beam. She always seeing down. That's making the gymnast comfortable jumping backward because she knows she's gonna see where she's gonna put in the hands and the legs, okay? <clears throat> now, hand replacement on the beam. There is many, many ways <clears throat> of putting the hands, but I'm gonna tell you personal experience. Um, I, I teach beam because in Egypt we don't have a lot of women doing the job or doing beam job. So I, I teach the beam. Um, I try this. I don't know, let me take a check. Is it to put the hands like this. Good. But if the gymnasts are sweat or sweaty, you have always the possibility to go like this. Okay. And when you go like this, first thing to touch the beam would be the head. Boom. Head follow, okay. So this is not very good, number one. Number two, reason number two, I saw before gymnasts go like this and hooked, <sharp inhale> broken. Finger went to like, you understand what I'm saying? So if the beam is like this, you put the hands of the beam like this, she went like this and slipped. So the, this finger got broken, you understand? Yes, so yes. This, is, this is, I don't like because of these two. Sweaty hand out or like this broken and not safe okay jo ye position bata rahe hain beam pe number 1 ki hum hat mila ke ye dono ko beam ko pakadte hain to ye do wajah se thoda isme problems hain ek problem agar aapke hat mein paseena aaya hai to aap beam se slip ho ke aapke sar mein chot lag sakti hai dusra agar aap is tarike se hat beam ki taraf le jaoge to kai baar aapka angutha aada teda aake usme angutha injured ho sakta hai so ye do reason hai is hand placement mein uh, yes, Teddy. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, <coughs> this. Look, hand over the hand. Okay. I, 
two reasons. It's not good all the time to press over one rest. Later, in the young age, no problem. But when they grow up, you will have a big problem. Big problem. Because you're putting all your weight, all your weight on your rest. And you actually squeeze it. You understand what I'm saying? Later on, the, the lower arm, the lower rest will be problem. Very big problem. And as a safety, it's not good to press like this. Okay? Actually, yeah. the best idea or the best way is to go like this. That's my favorite. Or more, or more efficient. I can, see, I can show you one thousand video of back handstring of higher level gymnasts, elite gymnasts. You all put the hands like this. Because you will have one hand on the beam and the lower hand. You will actually have more control pushing like this. Okay, and I show you drills of just to put the hands like this. <clears throat> Here we go. First, use this. You can use the mat, just a normal mat. Okay, this is, yeah, if you have all the facility. You go down like normal, you know, like normal <clears throat> bridge, and you fix the hands like this, then backward walk over. I will, it would be more clear. Yeah, that view is much perfect. You see, that's how you put the hands like this. First, normal. Then, like this. First, normal bridge. Then, we teach you to put the hands like this out. And, yeah, that's have to be flat. Yeah, that's, before you, yeah, I have this question. Listen, <laughs> before we ask. Which one here, which one here, which one here, which, which one here, which one here? Well, if you are righty, if you are righty, the right hand up. If you are lefty, the left hand up. You understand? Ah, yes. Ye batana chahi hain ki hand placement mein koon sa hand aage hoga. To agar aap righty hain, right handed hain, to right hand ko aage kiji aur agar aap left handed hain, to left hand ko aage kiji. Yes, okay, sir. this is next step to prepare now to the hand replacement on the floor. Slow, slow, slow. You start slow first. See, like normal bridge to backward walk over. Don't rush. Slow, slow, slow to make the girl understand. Okay, and it's always a good idea to have a line, to have a line in the floor to put, you know, to give you an indication how your hand to be. Yes, you can see the mat on the floor, the beach wall line, and you can see the line on the beach, so you can get better understanding of the gymnast. And these drills are just for hand placement. Yes, you see that line? Yeah, this line to help you to understand where to put the hands. Okay, or after this, you start to take it one step forward, like backward look over. You do backward look over with hand replacement like this. And as I said, it's always a good idea to use the line, the floor line, give you an idea of put, how to put your hands. You see? Simple, but helps a lot. This, this drill on the floor helps a lot. It helps you to fix, because if you rush it on the beam, you know, some accident may happen. But when you do it in the floor like this, you can control it, control environment, you can control it as a coach, you can spot, you can fix the hand replacement to make sure that she's 100% ready before she goes on the beam. On the beam, you start also with backward loop over. You start with backward loop over. You don't rush, you don't, yeah. That's from both angles. If she's comfortably, can she put her hands like this in the backward walk over? Then go ahead, use the back handspring. You can also spot, you can also spot the back handspring first into a mat, a panel mat, or you know, hard surface mat, like this. Put the hands at the back of the gymnast, jump. Let's, I'll do that slowly. Look, look, you start put the hands in the back like this. Now the gymnast jump. 
You catch, you, let, you catch her. Now you make sure that she put her hands in the right direction. Okay. And you correct. If you need correct or she need correct, you correct this. Okay? After this, you can go take it to the lower beam, the spot, the spot, put the hands the same. You have to put the left hand on the back and she will fly. Sorry. And she will go. Then you, you correct. I don't know. Can you see? I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, yes, Daddy. Yeah. Then she put the hands and you correct. So first she'll be in your hand. We'll have more control. Don't let her do this in the beginning by herself. You don't want her to hurt herself. You have her as a control and you concentrate or putting the hands correct. Before you let her try actually the, 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 the whole back handspring. So pieces, make sure that she's safe. When she do this drill like this girl, smoothly, okay, then she goes. And as you said, she start from standing to back, back hands to handstand. It's not the whole back handspring. Just to make sure that she's her hands in the right position, position on the beam. Okay. So you have okay. to hand position improve करने के लिए आपको standing position से hand uh, handstand positions तक आप supporting कर रहे हो उसी में उसकी hand placement uh, correct करानी है आपको उसके बाद उसको आगे move कराना है. Yes, Shadi. Okay. Uh, yes, basically that's it for the back handspring. I like to get more. Uh, questions if you have any more questions and um, as I said the hand replacement it have to be like this I don't know if you can see perfectly like this not this not this please don't stop doing this this trust me not good trust me not good yes Shadi I believe You can start, yeah, you can teach backward look over to boys. Actually, yeah, that's actually an interesting question. I went to Russia and I worked with Russian coach and believe it or not, the Russian gymnast, they teach them bar ballet, you know the bar? They teach them bar ballet. Yes, uh, bar ballet. Bar ballet, like the kicks, the boys, I'm talking about boys. Mm -hmm. You teach them kicks, all directions. Trust me, I saw kids, kick better than our girls, like my team girls. Can you believe? Boys. And they teach them front walk over, backward walk over. Every, like, when they were younger, they teach them basically like girls on the floor. And that was like, wow, <laughs> wow. But I asked why, because they said to me, it gave them the first, that's, it's called artistic gymnastics. It gave them the artistic taste. And sometimes the boys, they do, um, and the boys, you see them, they doing, you know, something um, to catch their breath when you go like this. So they want to make it like classy, make it looks good. So, ये कह रहे हैं कि हमें ये एक बार रशिया में गए तो वहाँ पे इन्होंने देखा कि वहाँ के छोटे बॉयज लड़कियों से अच्छी लैग किक वॉक ओवर और बैक ओवर कर रहे थे। तो उसका रीजन इन्होंने पूछा कि लड़कों को क्यों करा रहे हैं तो � so, उसमे आस्ट्री जो हमारी एग्जीक्यूशन पार्ट है वो बहुत जल्दी इंप्रूव होगा और एक आपकी बॉडी में अच्छा लुक आएगा क्लासी लुक यस शादी सो बेसिकली दैट वाज इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो दैट या इन सम कंट्रीज दे टीच बैकवर्ड लुक ओवर एंड बैकवर्ड लुक फ्रंट लुक ओवर एंड बैकवर्ड लुक ओवर बॉयज एंड आवर द मेल कोच हैव टू हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट द the beam and stuff because like in my country in Egypt the idea the regular idea that we don't do beam when it comes beam they go away that's not uh, good I if you see the world championship the national team coach for USA the man looks at the beam and you know and he knows so you have to have idea of how the whole thing goes and also the girls the females I saw females spot on bars in USA better than males Female spotting, I promise you. So it's um, a compatible work. It's like one piece. The coach has to know everything, male or female. Okay? 
Yes, Shadi. And yes, if anybody have any question, please. Yes, if there is any question, please put it in the chat box in today's presentation regarding or any element regarding. Uh, actually, we didn't get any questions, Shadi. You explained very well today. And how can we stop bending arms? Okay, there is one question. How we can stop bending arms during these elements? On back handspring? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me, I'll show you a drill. Using this drill? Yes. You have to teach this drill, watch this drill. You let them go like this. You see when she goes down, straight arms. Some coaches, when they do the beginning, especially on this part of the drill, they, when the gymnast start to bend the elbow, they don't like correct it or they like ignore it. You have to, when you start doing this part of the drill, keep saying, keep your arm straight, keep your arm straight. And you make sure when she performing this drill, her arm are straight. Don't take even the small bend, that's, that don't take it. Say no, no, do it again with the straight arms. Okay, that's a, one of the drills, it's very important, and this one. Very basic here it is. This one. When you teach this drill, you see from way the beginning, you teach him to go down with the straight arms. Straight arms, straight arms. You go down with the straight arms. Let's play that one more time. Straight arms, straight arms, straight arms, straight arms, straight arms. The bending arms, its problems start from young ages. From young age, every small drill, you keep arm straight or you focus to tell the girl to keep her arm straight later on you will not tire this but in the beginning if the arm bent you have small you can take it in the beginning if you are in young age <clears throat> but you keep correcting the bent arms you keep saying keep your arm straight you do the drills with the straight arms don't take any drill with bent arms that's why i say it's better to spot some of the drills or the elements to make sure that she's safe Yes, यहाँ ये कहना चाह रहे हैं जो क्वेश्चन का आंसर है कि अगर हाथ आप स्ट्रेट रखना है जब आप स्टार्टिंग से बच्चे को कराते हो तो जितने भी आपके मेथोडोलॉजिकल फेस हैं जब आप उसको हैंड प्लेसमेंट पे वर्क करते हो तो हर एक फेसेस में आपको करेक्ट करके जाना है क्योंकि अगर उस फेस में आपने उस पोजीशन को करेक्ट नहीं किया तो एडवांस स्टेज में जाके ये बहुत मुश्किल होगा हम उसको करेक्ट नहीं कर पाएंगे और काफी मैसेजेस आ रहे हैं मुझे हैंड प्लेसमेंट ये दो बार रिपीट कर दिया है इन चीजों को और एक क्वेश्चन आया है कि हम कैसे डर निकाल सकते हैं तो मैं दोबारा बताना चाहूंगा कि मेथोडोलॉजिकल स्टेप बाय स्टेप ट्रेनिंग से हम बच्चे का फियर निकाल सकते हैं तो इज इट ये बहुत इजी वे है एथलीट सो आई जस्ट से ड्यूरिंग मेथोडोलॉजिकल फेज इफ यू आर गोइंग स्टेप टू स्टेप सो वी कैन रिमूव द फियर फ्रॉम द एथलीट एंड 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 मोर ड्रिल्स द मोर यू पुट ड्रिल्स <clears throat> safe environment, the more it, it works the fear. Uh, going back, any elements going back, naturally have a fear because, wait, when you start like this, I don't know if you see, then you want them to go back. So when you start like this, you don't see your back, you don't see the beam backward. So it's normal that sometimes you're just scared of going back because they don't know what's, what's gonna happen the next side. So it's very important the first um, experience or the first drill that the gym is going backward, you must make sure 2,100% it's a safe environment. Because if the fir first experience was bad or she hurt herself, bye, forget the backward elements. It would be scarred for life. She would be so scared to go anything backward. Yes. So make sure the first experience, 100%, 100% safe even if it's not technically correct, but safe because you want to break the fear. Because fear is mental block, it's mental issue. Sometimes the physical is perfect, she's like Poo. but she's so scared because here is the issue. So make sure the first experience, 100% safe.
यस यहाँ पे ये बताना चाह रहे हैं कि अगर जो किसी भी जिम्नास्ट का फर्स्ट एक्सपीरियंस होता है अगर आपने फर्स्ट टाइम पे ही बच्चे को ले जाके बीम पे एक्टिविटी करानी शुरू करी चाहे वो छोटा या बड़ा है और उसका हाथ बैंड हुआ सर लगा तो वो उसका वही एक्सपीरियंस उसका डर का कारण बन जाएगा तो हम इसको जितनी ज्यादा ड्रिल्स में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं उतना अच्छा है यंग जिम्नास्ट के लिए यस शादी ओके आई थिंक इट्स फिनिश फ्रॉम योर साइड um yeah it's finished uh, as i get blaze on script from looking for me uh okay that's a good question i just saw by coincidence blaze sometimes scared from low beam to high beam okay you see if that happen high beam you start you get on the high beam you put mats all the way to the high beam you know so basically it's like low beam but it's a little bit on high surface but put mats all the way in the high beam under the high beam you know then you let the gymnast try if she do it correct no problem you take it to the next step okay next step is what take one mat out okay if she do it correctly no problem she's now she's not that scared anymore take another mat out yes. take another mat out till it's tang the high beam and all the time start with one mat over the beam the you know i don't know what we call this thing mat you know um like this one i don't know let me check all the time start like this oh here it is you see that the mat on the beam yes sadi always on the high beam the low beam use this because it's always good for rest you don't want to overuse the rest and it make the girls comfortable it doesn't make too much actually but makes the girls you know um uh, mentally sure that it's going to be okay so the high beam like this you put stack mats all the way from here to here mats 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 all the way up then you start to do one element no problem you start to take one mat out you know eventually voila the magic happened so yeah that's it thank you uh, thank you sadi uh, you welcome is it over so just uh, stop your screen so okay yeah here it is सो so, कोचेस अभी अगर किसी का कोई क्वेश्चंस है तो दोबारा रिपीट कर सकते हैं बिफोर मैं शैदी का थैंक्स कर, करूंगा तो उससे पहले अगर कोई आपका क्वेश्चंस है तो कोई भी आई थिंक देर इज नो क्वेश्चन सो शैदी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स ऑफ ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव अ बिग थैंक्स फॉर यू एंड योर फेडरेशन दैट यू आर गिविंग अ वंडरफुल सेशन एंड यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग वेरी वेल ईच स्मॉल स्मॉल टेक्निक्स विच वी आर लाइक वेरी यूजफुल फॉर आवर फ्यूचर लाइक आवर यंग कोचेस एंड एवरी so uh, i now i request you uh, please say a few words for our coaches uh, regarding our this program okay uh, first i'm really really happy and honored to be able and thanks manoj and and the government to have give me the chance to be able to speak to you all um uh, i i am very proud and i hope that i cover all the points that you want and I'm really really happy that to see all the numbers of coaches want to learn want to upgrade themselves I hope that I help them and I really really can't wait to the corona crazy to be done uh I'll be glad to come to India to see all of you and thank you for all your time and effort I hope I um, helped you some of you already added me on the Facebook or asked me question on Facebook please feel free to do so I wouldn't mind sometimes just i don't read it or it just come late but if you want any help any time i'll be glad to do so and thank you so much for everything thank you manoj thank you poja i don't know ponja yes. yes yes and the government thank you all for letting me have the chance to do this and i'll welcome you all as my new friends and i hope you accept me and yeah keep well stay safe as i said don't rush give everything on a time and i'm pretty sure then the next olympic cycle the indian gym will see more indian gymnasts on the international events and the world championships thank you shadi thank you very much mm -hmm.